Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look as well as testing out the new Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. So if you're interested in my thoughts and how I got this look, keep on watching. The first thing we're going to be going in with is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is what it looks like if you guys haven't seen it before. This is in the shade 14 Cool. It has been a while since I've like worn this foundation on a regular basis. I did wear it yesterday. I tried to film this video yesterday, but my camera was acting stupid. So I do like it, but it's a medium buildable coverage. If you guys are not familiar with the foundation, a natural finish. So yeah, I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply it. I have about two pumps on my hand. So that's what we're going to be working with. So no primer on my face, I already prepped my skin with my usual skincare, so that's what we're working with. That's so pretty. All right, I think we're just gonna work with those two pumps because we're gonna add concealer and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna put on some of the Fenty lip oil on my lips because they are dry. If you hear any running water, it's literally the fish tank that's like right there. So yeah, it needs to be changed. So that's what it is but for my base concealer i'm going to be going in with my dior skin correct this is the new formula um i don't know if you watched my initial review on it but the beautiful skin concealer from charlotte tilbury is not really my favorite concealer so i'm going to layer it um because that's what i want to do <laughs> but yeah just so it can give me the appearance that i wanted to give i feel like the beautiful skin concealer doesn't give me enough coverage and i also think the color is a bit neutral from my skin tone so the shade that i have in that dior concealer is five neutral five n So for the Beautiful Skin Concealer, I had this little sample of shade 13 Deep. Initially, I bought 12. I gave that shade to my sister um, because it's too light for me. This one, I still don't like the color. But again, like I mentioned, I don't like the coverage as well. I feel like you have to build it up a lot. For some reason, Charlotte Concealer just does not work for me. So I don't think I like, yeah, I didn't like that initial airbrush concealer, I think it was. The one with the little sponge tip. I did not like that so this one is better but still not for me <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty picky with concealers anyway because my under eyes are really my main concern because they're dark and I always layer concealers anyway so it's like are any of them really perfect because I'm always layering it but yeah that's what it that is, I'm gonna have this sit for a little bit. Like I mentioned, it doesn't have the coverage that I like, so I'll have it set under my eyes just so we can get the coverage that I want. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. No, hold on. Beautiful skin bronzer. So this one is in the shade 4 Deep. This is the cream. I'm going to be using my Sonia G. Lotus Base Brush. Now this bronzer, the formula is nice. It is pretty pigmented, but I do think they need more colors um, as well, like in between tones. And I feel like this deep shade is pretty neutral. Um, so it doesn't give me like warmth, it gives me more contour. When it comes to bronzers, I'm looking for more warmth, so I tend to like something that has a little bit more red on my skin tone because it gives you more of a sun-kissed look. But if you like that neutral tone, that gives you definition and depth, then you might like this tone. I don't hate it, but it wouldn't be my first selection for a cream bronzer if I was picking one up. 
if that makes sense. I think I mentioned this before. This is also more of a like cream formula that dries down like a powder. In my opinion, I feel like it dries down pretty matte. Going back in with my sponge and just blending out the center of my face. Yes, that looks good. So that's what we look like with concealer blended. I'm just going to go in with the remainder of the cream bronzer on this brush just to define my nose a little bit. Bringing that into the brows. So, we're looking a little matte right now. I will go in and spray my face because, yeah, I'm not about this matte life. But I'm going in and reinforcing this bronzer. So, I don't have a Charlotte blush. I don't really like the colors, if I'm being honest. So, I'm not going to put blush on today. It is what it is. But, what I will do is go in with a little bit of the airbrush bronzer. I haven't used this in a long time. I used to love this thing. Um, and just reinforce the cream and give me a little bit of a bronzy look on the cheek. There we go. Yes. This is an old Sephora collection brush. You know Sephora always comes out with those holiday kits. This one, I feel like it's like four or five years old. I do like it though. All right, so there you go. A little bit more of a bronziness on the cheek. Perfect. So the main thing that we wanted to try was these new highlighters from Charlotte Tilbury. So they're open, of course, because I tried them. But this is the Hollywood Glow Glide Face Architect Highlighter. I have two shades, Rose Gold Glow and Bronze Glow. Let me show you what the actual like unicarton looks like. So this is what the unicarton looks like. I'm glad I didn't throw it away yesterday, but... <laughs> You guys, I don't like this packaging. I feel like her packaging has been, like, so busy now. I mean, I get it. You're showing where you can put the highlighter. But no, it's so busy. Like, all of this stuff. Can we just keep it simple? Keep it simple. That's my opinion. But anyway, again, this is what the component looks like. I like the component. I think it's cute. This is the shade Bronze Glow. And this is the shade Rose Gold Glow. I do believe that these highlighters come in six shades, which is nice because now it's the extension of Charlotte's formula. Um, she didn't really have a lot of options for deeper skin when it came to highlighters. Let's not even get into that. But I am glad that she expanded the range and has permanent highlighters now because most of her highlighters were limited edition so what we're gonna do is just put each color on one side um and see how it looks on the skin tone so this is bronze glow i'm going to be using my sonia g hinoki brush i love this brush for highlighter so i'm just doing one swipe and we'll put it here that's pretty i'm gonna pop that into the brow bone Yes. I like the finish of it. I feel like it's not overly glittery. It's not overly metallic. I feel like it can get metallic depending on how much you put on and what kind of brush you use. But this brush definitely smooths it out really nicely. And I like that nice like wet effect that it has on my skin. It doesn't look chunky. So yeah, I'm into that. Just wiping the brush off. We're going to go in with the Rose Gold Glow now. One swipe again. And pop it on the high points can definitely see a difference with the tones rose gold bronze Ugh. I don't know which one I like better I really like both of them oh that's pretty so that's the rose gold hmm. okay I'm gonna go on with the, some of the rose gold to mix in with the bronze so bronze Rose gold, just in case you guys are deciding between the two, but I'm going to mix it so that we are cohesive on both sides. I'm popping it down on my cheekbones because, again, I have dry skin, so I like to look glowy. 
and then one stripe of the bronze glow for this side. Yep, you can see that they mix really nicely. A little bit on the tip of my nose, everywhere else. We'll leave. Yep. I'm actually not mad at those. They're gonna be in the everyday stash. Nice. Okay. So this is my complexion with highlighter, bronzer, powder. So what I'm gonna do is do my brows off camera because they're just brows, but I will be using Charlotte Tilbury, the brow cheats. I have it in the shade black brown and the brow fix. So I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like and I'll spray it on my face a little bit. Okay, so I am back. Um, this is what my complexion looks like after I sprayed my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray on it. Much better. And then these are what my brows look like. So pretty simple. I'm going to do a simple eye look, you guys. I'm going to be using the Super Nudes palette. Do they even still sell this? I do believe they have it. It's basically an all like matte neutral palette. It has a bit of sheen to it. So it's not all matte, but all neutral. Um, and what I'm going to do first is go back in with the brightening powder from Charlotte. Because I want a brighter lid. And just use my puff pad. I know, right? Use my puff pad. I am going to press that all over my lid. The mobile lid right here. Alrighty, so I'm going to be going in with this shade here. They have names, but yeah. <laughs> going in with a Sephora collection number 27 brush. And blend in that on the outer eye into the crease just to define a little bit more. This color is pretty similar to my skin tone, so it's just gonna smooth everything out, as you can see. This is such a simple eye look. All right, next I'm gonna go in with this mid-tone brown right here with this like defining brush. We're gonna pop that on the outer eye, blending it onto the outer third of the lid and slightly into the crease, into the socket, just to give us a little definition. So this is kind of creating a shape. I'm going a little bit more rounded with this brown color here just to open up my eyes and just to really define the socket. There you go. See? I'm going to go in with this color here, this pale like bone color with a shader brush and press that on the lid brighten it up a little bit more I'm going into the inner crease just to open up and lift you know like I normally do if you guys are used to my channel always get a little brightness right there at the front and with a smaller side of the shader brush just to intensify that same bone color. There we go. So what we're gonna do next is go in with the black and a angled brush. This is from Colored Rain, it's the angled liner brush. And we are going to create a smoky liner on the outer eye. So I'm just dusting off a little bit on the brush right from the bottom lash line, bringing out the line to the brow, bringing that back onto the lid. And I'm going to press the black onto the lash line. Right to the middle. And that's basically it. So I'm going to finish up on the other side, pop on some lashes, and I'll come back and I'll show you my lip combination. 
Alright, so this is what my completed makeup looks like. I have on Faithful Lashes and the Style Goodness. And then a mascara. This is Big Timer Mascara from the Lip Bar. So for my lip, I'm going to be going in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is the... I cannot see that. It's supposed to be like the lip balm. But this is in the shade Pillow Talk. I also have the Pillow Talk lipstick. But I don't know where that is right now. <laughs> but for my lip liner, I'm going to be going in with Straight Facts Lip Liner. I'm just gonna wipe this off. So straight facts lip liner from the lip bar. It's a deep brown. So this is what that lip balm looks like. It's pretty. It's like a tinted lip balm. I think it's the Hydra Kiss. And of course, you know, I need some gloss. So we're going to be going in with the Dior Lip Maximizer in Shimmer Hazelnut. All right. So this is my completed makeup. Basically a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. What do we think? The main star of the show was the highlighter though. And I like it. I like it a lot. I like to look glowy. So highlighters I do use. I know a lot of people don't use highlighters anymore. Like they tend to go for like a illuminating base. I kind of do both. It depends on the day and how I'm feeling if I want to look like extra glowy. But I don't think that this looks powdery at all. It just gives a nice glow to the skin. And like I mentioned, I've tried it before. So when I did wear it before, a lot of people did like the way that it looks. So yeah, I really like those highlighters. I'm glad that I picked up those two shades. Let me know if you picked up any other shades and if you like them. If you tried this formula, how do you feel about it? I'm interested in to know. So leave it down in the comments down below. But yeah, everything else turned out pretty good um i mentioned as i was going how i like most of the products the concealer is just really not my favorite but everything else i tend to use in my routine um i haven't used the bronzers in a long time but the powder bronzer used to be one of my favorites and then the airbrush powder i use the brandon one now so yeah i like it the brow pencil is nice i might have to buy another one you know i love my gucci brow pencil but i like this today i like the way that it looks so you guys that's gonna be it for today's video pretty simple just a full face of charlotte everything will be linked down in the description down below if you're interested in trying anything out if you are new here hi i'm jordine i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a thumbs up because it helps me out i will see you guys in the next video bye